37. It's kind of a frequent petition. On the petition of John 9 and at least 25 Hampton registered voters shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate $3,000 to pay Experience Hampton Incorporated, the organizer of the 2010, 11, 12, and 13 Hampton Christmas Parades to help defray the expenses of the 2014 Christmas Parade and related activities. Madam Chairman, I'll move that we recommend Article 37. Second. About this? I don't think so. I do. Okay. Whoops. Sorry. This this article says to defray expenses. Mm -hmm. It assumes there are uh, there is not a net profit coming into Experience Hampton. Do we know that not to be the case? Does anyone have any visibility into their books? I have visibility into the process. How about the books? Not the books. All right. right. I am not on the board. It's you a private corporation. We have no. It's no a private corporation. I will tell you this, there is a tremendous, tremendous amount of work that is done by this group to support this parade. Not only this parade, it's kind of become a weekend mm -hmm. of festivities between mm -hmm. Friday well, It's a great parade. I don't have any problem with the parade itself. Okay. All right. My question is about the money. You know, I, I see, you know, what, what bothers me, I mean, oh, I know we have, with Dick, we have a policy, a cable TV policy of not, not having advertising on there. But throughout the course of the parade, I hear the speakers, you know, uh, promoting businesses, not just in town either, but in various mm -hmm. parts of the area. And I hear mention about, you know, their contribution to uh, the uh, experience camp and so forth. And I can't help but think, well, gee, I wonder if their contribution is somehow associated with how much um, promotion they're getting on cable TV. Those announcements were from Channel 9. Well, well, they're on Channel 22. Right, they okay. were from Channel, they weren't from around this area. So I'm like, I'm, I'm watching this and I'm seeing, well, you know, uh, some people are getting more promotional speak than others. And often it's relative to how much they support the... Well, it was scripted. It was right. scripted. They were reading no, it was scripted. Script. Okay. So who wrote the script? And, right. and, and, and was it related to how much they I funded? Think, I, I don't think. know. We don't have any open openness no, to the books. And, and this is being put forth as defray expenses. And I'm suspecting there might actually be a profit going on here. I highly do. I know, Tim, that they, when they have a yeah. matching band, they have to pay for that. I was just going to mention that. Yeah. But they're also receiving revenue beyond just this. Oh, yes. They well, have I do not have mm -hmm. the books in front of me. All right. Mm -hmm. I have been part of the organization to work on events to raise money. And I don't have the exact figure, so you can't hold me to the figure, but it's somewhere in the vicinity of $20,000. What is? is this it the for the cost of the parade. Right. Any idea now, on the first revenue? First of all, okay, mm -hmm. first of all, we had this parade in our community, it went away. Mm -hmm. And it went away for different reasons that were specified and unspecified, one of which was the cost. And it went away and it was sorely missed in this community. Mm -hmm. And I will praise this, this committee, uh, mm -hmm. this organization, for bringing it back. Mm -hmm. Now, is there advertising with it? Yeah, is the business community involved? But I will tell you, that that business community steps up to the plate to the tune of that $20,000 plus when it's needed. And other things that are needed in the community as well. This has been an organization that has served mm -hmm. the business community very well. And in serving the business community, the business community in turn has yeah. served the citizenship. If we're putting in three and they're putting in 20, that's a good bang for that dollar, I'm sorry. And all, all the effort that goes into it there's well, a lot I mean of, excuse me, there's a lot of man hours in the course of the year that don't have a dollar amount because, of course, all the people in this organization are not paid for the most part. Okay? All of them are volunteers from the community. So I guess if you wanted to put a dollar value on that for every volunteer we had, <coughs> for every activity that takes place during the weekend of the parade, you would see even a much higher bill and that would diminish that $3,000 contribution even more. 
you were correct too. This committee, this very committee, was very big on putting this back in. Yes. Making sure this. And that's the historical. For four on years. Yeah. It, w it wouldn't have happened otherwise. Yeah. So I would. Well, be that's all great, but my question still remains. The Warren article says to defray expenses, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering they because it appears to me that they actually are experiencing not a net expense on the exercise, but a net profit. And unless we can see the books or have some visibility into the books, we cannot know that we're actually defraying expenses. We could be actually just adding to their profit. Is Experience Hampton a not-for-profit corporation? I believe I'm not part of that structure. I'm part of the volunteers. Uh, I well, don't ask those questions. Let's assume it is a not-for-profit and be understanding what not-for-profit means. Not-for-profit <coughs> means they don't have to pay taxes on profits they make. It doesn't mean they don't make profits. But it entirely restricts the distribution of any profit. No, it doesn't. It actually enhances it because they don't have to pay taxes on their profit. Not-for-profit has a mission statement. Mm -hmm. Right. It must comply with it. It gets its 501c3 <coughs> status. 501c3, uh, and it needs to reinvest. Yeah, and it has to it comply has. to its mission. Statement. Right, and we've seen the IRS behavior recently with regard to it enforcing that kind of uh, mission statement. I think we're going this way. But the bottom line is, yeah. this <laughs> Warren article <laughs> says, yeah. this Warren article <laughs> says <laughs> the question. to defray expenses, uh, and it's not clear that they are in fact experiencing an expense. Okay. Okay. Going to move this question. Move the question, okay, please. Okay, we have. Second. I'm looking after the taxpayer. Move the question. We have the motion. I, we I, have a second. I made a. You're right. I made a motion. Yeah. It was seconded. So mm -hmm. we're ready to vote. We're going to vote on moving the question. Yeah. We're going to vote. Moving the question is not on votable. Uh oh. Moving the question ceases all discuss any mm -hmm. further discussion oh. and goes to a vote. Oh. There you go. All those in favor. <laughs> Opposed? Abstention. Okay. So again, I have all of 11, 1, 0. Agreed. Okay. 